Hello and welcome. I'm Pauline from Pauline's Quilters World. I'm just delighted that you could um, tune in and see how we use our tools. This is a, a great tool that we've designed and I know they're very, very odd shapes and a lot of people say, what are they? So let us show you what these are used for. There's um, five different sizes which in fact will give you 10 different actual sizes when you start using them. The measurement on the inside is going to be a different measurement to the outside. For example, if I traced around the outside edge of this one, I'm going to have a 12 inch shape. If I trace around the inside, I'm going to have a 10 inch shape. And I don't know if you can see, we have a solid line and a jotted line. Now they're there for a specific purpose to give us two different shapes. So we'll just see if you can see that. We've got a jotted line and then we've got a solid line. So we're going to work with the, the um, dotted line to start with and it's got that little hole in the middle. So what we'll do is we'll put our fabric out. We're going to put the template on top. I'll use this one and I'm going to make an 8 inch shape. Put it down just hold it firmly, just with one finger is enough. Trace with your fabric marking pen around that outside edge. Now what I'm doing is I'm going from that jotted line, that little line that's got strokes on it there, I'm going to go from that little area there around to this area with my marking pen. Just trace it around. So there's our line. Now we're going to flip the template over. So we've had it like this. We're going to flip it over and we're going to line it up so that this jotted line is exactly on the edge of that line that I've just drawn. Line it up, line it up. Whoops. And then we'll draw around here. From jotted line to jotted line. And there we have a lovely oval shape. So you can make all different size ovals using different size tools. And I just want to show you this little piece we're working on. We're creating a whole quilt using these shapes. So with this one here, I've used three different sizes and I've layered them on top of each other. Here we've got two of the same size and we've layered them on top of each other. Here we've just done a variation of sizes. Here I've cut the center out. So I've made one and then I've used a smaller one to put it in there and cut the center out. I'll show you how to do that. This one here, I've used the same shape. I've done four of the same color, of the same size, and then four different fabrics there, and then I've created the flower. So it's just to show you that shapes can be quite simple, but you can do really wonderful things with them. So we've drawn this one here, just put this one back on and draw this line a little bit darker so you can see it better. I do always tell people it is better to draw your shapes working with your fabric on a piece of sandpaper and I should be doing this. This is a, my three-in-one workboard. it's got sandpaper in the middle so when I put my fabric down on here as I draw it's not going to stretch. Now I'm going to use this one and I'm going to draw on the inside of this to give myself a smaller shape. So once again I'm going to go from jotted line around to jotted line and flip this over, go from that jotted line to jotted line. It's a very, very simple tool to use. So now I would cut out around this outer edge and then I would cut out the center piece. And then that will give me a shape like this one here. But when I did this one, I didn't have this shape centered. I had it offset so that I had more area up here than, and less in here. So it's just another way of showing you different wonderful things you can do. Here, when I've cut these fabrics out, I wanted to fussy cut so that I got the owls really positioned nicely in there. So what we do is when we cut out the shape, we then glue it onto the background fabric using the Roxanne glue basted. 
and then we've made some bias to go around the edge and when we make the bias I use one of my sasha tools so if you don't know about the sasha tools we are the designer the original designers of these tools um, they range from one eighth of an inch down to four inches there's 18 different sizes so we can create all different width biases or straight grain fabric to go around the edges of everything anything and they are a wonderful tool so that's what I've used here to put the bias around the edge of these ovals and making bias you can get really really creative so now using this same tool we can do a totally different shape so we'll go on to another piece of fabric this time we're going to make more of an almond shape so we're going to draw from the solid line here around to the solid line here okay so from this solid line all the way around to this solid line now we have little arrows on the tool and I know it's very hard to see if I draw on the inside I'll get a different size to what I get on the outside so we'll put this down remember now we're drawing from the solid line to the solid line using the sandpaper our fabrics not going to stretch flip the template line the solid line up to the point where you finish drawing and draw so there we have our almond shape which is a really nice shape and you can create wonderful things with that so just to show you a little example we've used the smallest tool here was it this one yes we use this one which is the three and the five inch we've drawn around and cut out those shapes and then we've been able to form that beautiful circle and it, it really is easy because the almond shape gives you a nice point at the end where the oval is, is more rounded. Here we've used some different sizes together and creating a really nice flower shape just by layering different sizes. And this is going to be a beautiful quilt once we get it finished. Then to add to that, we've now got our vine with our leaves so using the smaller ones we're able to get some different shaped leaves using two two different sizes and you can see how creative you can get by just using a very very basic shapes and so that's why we decided to put the two shapes in the one tool and be able to give you 10 different measurements we've got circles here we do do um, what we call our nested circles which is all different circles that are all in one set. I've only got one here, but here we go. You get all of these different size circles. So it allows you to combine the two sets of tools together to create something like this. We don't need to cut templates, we don't need a pattern, we don't need anything. All we're doing is positioning shapes and running a stem through so to do this stem we use the quarter inch sasha tool and there are other videos on our youtube channel that you can see how we make the bias how we use the circle tools we have lots of different videos out there to teach you all about our different tools so we'd love you to subscribe to our youtube channel so when we keep creating things like this we can share that with you when this comes out as a pattern we'll be able to let you know that we've got a gorgeous pattern for something like this do visit us on our website it's www.pqw.com.au and do subscribe to get our newsletter because I'd love to be able to share with you what we've got here also when you're on the YouTube channel subscribe so that we can then let you know when we've got a new video out for you to watch and when you start creating with our tools we'd love you to share some photos with us so that we can share it around with other people visit our Facebook page um, and we'd love you to share anything on there with us that you've made or share anything that we have to show you and your friends. So thank you for joining us and happy, happy stitching using your new oval mandala shape templates. Bye for now.